everybody and happy Friday. And if I'm posting this video after Mother's Day, happy belated Mother's Day to all of my ladies, all of my ladies who played a motherly role. Um, I hope you had a good one and I hope you enjoyed it with your family. But I am back today to give you guys some updates on our home. We have officially moved in. You guys know in my initial home tour video, I told you guys that there are some things that we were working on as far as painting and like hanging ceiling fans and all the other stuff. And then also our closet is scheduled to be done next Friday. I cannot wait until it is done because we are digging through totes trying to find clothes and just trying to keep it neat at the same time because we don't want to hang anything up because when they come we're going to have to take it all down anyway. So yeah, I know you guys see how bright and light it is looking in this house. I'm super excited to show you guys everything that has been done. Showing you guys some of the decor that I have done. It is nowhere near finished. And y'all know decor is pretty expensive because of course it's like money, 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 money. Every time I turn around and I don't want to not only max myself out, but I don't want to end up just doing too much. So I'm really trying to take my time and just get little pieces at a time. And that way I don't feel overwhelmed. So we just taking it, you know, taking it very slow. Yeah. I'm rambling too much and I know y'all wanna see the house. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start in the kitchen this time around. The last time I started in the entryway and just kind of show you guys, you know, what all has been done. Not much was really done to the kitchen besides paint. There's fresh paint everywhere. We did paint the doors except for the cabinets. We are unsure of if we want to paint the cabinets. Um, I think we are thinking about painting the island, but I'm not sure what color yet. So we're leaving that alone for now. Um, of course, I need to put the broom up <laughs> because it needs to go in the washroom. There is a hook area where the brooms and um, the mops and everything go. I just didn't put it up because the cleaning people were right there. And then I need to take the trash out because trash runs tomorrow, but that's just full of like cardboard and it's not full yet. So I don't like to throw it out if it's not full and there's no food in it. I do have this console table right here. Not really sure what to do with it, but I'll figure it out. Um, it had some flowers up there, but they died. So maybe I'll just keep that with flowers or maybe I'll turn this into like a coffee station. I don't know. Y'all give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. This is just a washroom. Nothing fancy going on in there besides the washer and the dryer. I get questions on how to open up these lines and if they opened up. Yes, they do. And then of course, that's where our trash cans are. So yeah, I love to open those in the daytime. And just everything in here is just nice and clean. Um, we do have blue bowls over there, which we need to bring his other stuff from the house. We left his other bowls. And I just have a mat right here. I got this rolling rack from Amazon. So follow my Amazon storefront, y'all. I'm gonna leave it down below to show you guys all of the things that I have purchased. Um, from Amazon because 90% <laughs> of this house is Amazon. On the counter right now, the only thing I have is the air fryer and the can opener because we did cook the other day. I'll probably leave this up for sure. I'm not sure yet because we use the air fryer a lot. We use it a lot, y'all. So I don't really want to put it down because we'll always pick it back up. I have a diffuser right here and then I have these salt and pepper shakers. I need to fill it up. And then this is a fruit bowl. We have some bananas. They got old so I threw them out. You know, I don't want any gnats or anything to get on them. And not really much in the cabinet yet, but y'all see these sets? I got these from Walmart. These are so pretty and I have the paper towels down because I wiped down the cabinets. And I do have some liners, so I am going to line the cabinets. These are so cute, y'all. I did end up purchasing a new um, fridge. And I like this one because it has extra storage space. So you can convert this drawer into a freezer. So we're using it as a fridge for now. You can convert this one, which I think is nice. And then I'm just showing y'all all the business. Um, it does make these little ball ice cubes um i haven't used it yet at all and then right here you can just kind of open it up like that without opening the fridge all the way i did get our table i absolutely love this table y'all it wasn't too expensive now i don't feel like the chairs are going to last long i'm just gonna be honest with y'all they were like 69 dollars a piece 
And once I sat on them, I was like, eh, I probably have to revise some new chairs over time, but that's okay because I love the table. I got this from American Furniture Warehouse, and y'all look how pretty it is. I also did Scotch guard them. The files for my birthday, my birthday was on the 12th. So that is what it was looking like. And then of course I just have these, you know, faux flowers right into the living room area. It definitely looks lighter and brighter in here. They did a really good job when it comes to the paint. I have the windows open so it looks a little bit more on the wider side. But as the sun starts to go down, it does give you warmer vibes. Sometimes it can come off gray. Sometimes it might have a little bit of a pink undertone, which is why I chose this Peloton bike. We are considering selling it because I have a foot problem and I bought this before I was diagnosed with the foot problem and riding the bike aggravates it. So I'm considering selling it and getting a treadmill. Just not sure exactly what I want to do yet. We did end up changing our seat out and I have the original seat and everything and we changed the pedals. But I'm not sure if we're gonna let it go yet. I'm still undecided. This table came from Amazon and I am absolutely in love with it. It looks really nice and it gives you kind of a modern look, but you still have that wood flow going on. Just look at the detailing on it. Really nice, y'all. I have a computer chair yet. I still do not know what kind of computer chair I want to get. I don't know if I want to get like a more fancier one or if I just want a regular chair. Showing you guys what this area looks like now. We don't have a picture yet, so we'll end up figuring out exactly what we want to put there. But right now, I just have my baby girl, Sweet 16, um, in our Disney trip. And there's Jada way to look really cute. And then this is a big picture, but I think I'm gonna make a picture collage in their hallway. I have this little basket right here, um, and it has another blanket in it. They just fold it up and put it right there so they can get it out of the way. And then we did decide to take our old furniture. So I want a new furniture set, but I'm not sure exactly what I want. And I didn't want to just like rush and get anything and then not be happy with it. So I'm taking my time on that, especially because the furniture I was looking at is kind of pricey. And I wanna make sure that if I'm gonna spend that much money, I'm gonna be happy with it. So we just decided to keep this. This is just, you know, the couch with the half chair. And I've been having this for a while. I believe I got this from American Furniture Warehouse also. And then I got this rug from At Home. And then the tables came from American Furniture also. This little round thing right here came from Target. Yes, you see my little crocs on the floor, <laughs> that little plant, I have the windows open. And these lamps came from Amazon. I put a picture right here. I just have to figure out exactly what I want. So I seen a few the other day, but nothing I was really happy with. We also got this console from Amazon. Play area, I'm almost done with. I just need to add a few more things. This table came from Amazon. Those books came from Amazon. That little gold thing came from at home. And the vases came from Amazon. This chain link came from Amazon. This came from Kirkland's. Um, this came from Kirkland's. Um, this came from at home. This vase came from at home and the cherry flowers came from Amazon. And this mirror came from Kirkland's. So this is my filming area. And I have a couple of things that I still want to do to this area. I have my lights over here. Just got these plants on the side. These came from Amazon. This mirror came from Kirkland's. And then of course this desk came from Ikea. I'm here just stepping into the master. So the couches in the front did come with a three piece set. However, we felt like that did not flow well in the living room. It was taking up too much space. So we decided to put it in here. And I'm glad we did because we have a lot of room. So this is nice to have for the sitting area. The TV does swivel out towards the bed. So we can sit right here and just chill or we can lay in the bed and chill. I did put this mirror over here because I didn't know where else to put it. It might stay here, it might not, I'm not sure yet. And I just have a little fan over here and then my husband has his little pop things over here. And I have a candle right here. Y'all, let me tell y'all about this candle. Let me tell y'all about this candle. This is from Target. 
this is their threshold candle and it is coconut and honey i highly 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 suggest this get it it smells good you will not be disappointed and you will not go wrong and then i have our wedding day pictures i decided to put that in here i am thinking about doing a little collage into our entryway of just you know us over the years since we've been together for so long um having that put up when you kind of walk down the hallway into our room and this is our bed i did get this bed set from target and i'm so used to duvets y'all i did not know that the bed sets no longer come with fitted sheets so i had to go out and buy some fitted sheets um i did get these little fans from target because i cannot sleep without a fan in my face um one thing i noticed right here i don't know if this came from moving but there are some little spots i did get some fabric cleaner so i am going to end up cleaning that up and then we have some of our clothes down here at the bottom of the drawer and then we have some over there until they finish up the closet this is what i'm really excited to show you guys i know on the last video i said i wanted to change the countertops and we did but not only did we change the countertops we ended up painting the cabinets this blue color and it looks so good in here it really really does this blue came out so pretty. look at that blue y'all look at the blue it came out so pretty. I believe it's a Cheryl Williams navel. And then we did this quartz countertop right here. Ended up changing out the sink fixture. So they have like the bronze look. They go with the, you know, the knobs on the cabinet. Um, right here is all my perfumes. I'm probably not going to keep these right here. I'm probably going to put them in the closet when they are done. But for right now, they're staying right there. And I just have this little candle my friend gifted me for i believe my birthday last year and then this little fake plant because um i don't know if i can take care of real plants i don't want them to die i got this little bamboo piece from amazon and it holds a lot of stuff of course you could pull it out um, even further and just kind of move things around these exfoliating cubes you can get this from amazon i actually got this when i went for a massage and they offered this product and it works really well but i noticed they sell it on amazon and i have this candle from the taraji p henson line and this smells so good it smells so good they sell that at um walk Walk through again with our furniture in the home and let you guys know that we did officially move in um we love the paint color that we chose we're happy that we did not end up going with a gray color because we were considering it but i'm happy with this color and then of course the bathroom even though we were thinking about changing the countertops we were not sure we were going to wait to do that but once we seen the lighter paint color in there we just absolutely knew we had to change it the cabinets ended up coming at a later time because they were not white and so they did not go with the wall but i knew i did not want to just paint them white so blue was it i think i was either considering painting it blue or black and I'm happy that I went with that navy blue. It gives me spa vibes when I walk into the bathroom. I want to add some like eucalyptus in the shower just to make it smell like a spa when I walk through. So far, we are happy with everything that has gone on in the house and the way that it is coming together. And since we are considering this our forever home, we're definitely going to take our time getting things done. Let me know what you guys think so far about the house. And if you are filling the bathroom, are y'all liking the countertops and the blue cabinets that are going on? Um, if you are interested in some of the items that I did talk about from Amazon, I'm going to make sure to leave my Amazon Amazon storefront down below in the description area and also if there are some things that I did not talk about on Amazon and you are interested in them let me know so I can see if I can find you the link for those items enjoy this video and you are new to my channel please make sure to hit the subscribe button and also if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to turn those notifications on so you do not miss out on any of my videos and I will see you guys the next time bye